Aloha friends! I wanted to share with you guys today um, a family recipe. I've been making this for like over 10 years, as old as Jonathan. And this is called the Filipino Bibinka, but it's also referred to Mochi Bibinka or Butter Mochi is what it's um, known for in Hawaii. And it's a Filipino recipe, but it's become to be a Hawaiian local style um, dessert dessert cake so all it calls for super simple ingredients and then super easy to make so I have a buttered dish now I don't have foil but if you're bringing it to a party or if you're having it for a party then it's easier to put it into like a, one of those foil um, dish pans just butter it I've already buttered mine it calls for a, quor a cup and a quarter of uh, white sugar a box of Mochiko, I love to use this brand. A box uh, is equivalent to one pound. A teaspoon of baking powder. A cup of sweetened coconut flakes. And then I use whole milk. Other recipes, other friends of mine have used um, evaporated milk. But I find that whole milk really adds that nice texture to it. Five eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla one stick of melted butter and then you just basically get all your liquid ingredients mix them all together you get your dry ingredients mix them all together and then you put it into one bowl mix that all together all right so i've got my i've got my eggs my vanilla now i'm going to start pouring in my um my whole milk whole milk and beat it for a little bit just slightly danica's watching if you guys watch our vlog you know Danica loves to do everything that everybody's doing so got that and then now I'm gonna get my melted butter add that in there I like to add that one last and again just just mix it yes okay you can help so here's my dry if it's everything I've made this so many times that I know it fits into this little bowl, but um, you should get yourself a bigger bowl than me. So I'm going to do a little at a time, maybe a cup at a time, and then I like to just mix it in gradually, yeah, slowly. All right, so got my dry there, and then I like to put in my coconut separate, but you don't have to. You can add it in all together with the dry. And just mix it and put it into your your um, dish and then I forgot to mention that your oven should be already preheated 350 degrees and it's going to bake for about an hour an hour to about an hour and 15 minutes just depending on how you like it I like the crust I like those edges crust in brownies and especially in in this one I tend to eat the edges so that mix it a little bit more and then I'm gonna pour it into the dish here is the butter mochi it's about like five minutes out of the oven and what I also did was I had some some more of the sweetened coconut flakes so I just toasted them up for about five minutes and constantly stir it because it will get um, dark really fast so then it's nice and cool now sorry I'm using my hand I just washed my hand it's for families anyways but I don't do this when I'm even though your hands is always clean, it's, oh, it's nice to work with your hands. I like it. And I just sprinkle it. And I didn't measure. Um, this is actually a bit too much. But I love, I love coconut flakes on top. You don't have to do this. But if, if you had wanted to, you could definitely add more um, of the coconut like I am. And then while it's still cooling... That's just going to enhance the, the flavor and the aroma. It smells beautiful in here. There you go. All right, friends. So it's been cooling. My, my Filipino Bibinka Mochi Butter Cake, um, however you want to call it, it's, it's good. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. Like I said, this is perfect for parties. And I just cooked it just a little bit of over an hour. Maybe I put um, for an hour and five minutes. I think for 65 minutes. And usually I'll put a foil. I ran out of foil when I made the, um, the s'mores for the 
hello party the other day and so I'm just gonna put that in there oh there it is oh my gosh look at that mmm at that see that's how it looks on the inside all right friends I cut into it so you guys can see how it looks perfectly golden brown little dark brown on the edge for a little crust crunch and when you when you cut into it it's, it's got that sticky glutinous rice and the toasted um, the toasted coconut I think it just makes it really add that pop of flavor to it mm -mm -mm. so good I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo.